YouTube, I'm back again today. I'm going to finish off that witch logo that I started for you guys on Monday. If you haven't seen that video yet, go ahead and check that video out. I will post a link to it attached to this video. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and show you the illustrator side of things. So let's get started by pressing create new. I always, every time I do create new, I always do 1280 by 720. It's my favorite. I love it. It's perfect for the landscape size. So we'll go ahead and click create. Now I did the beginner. I did the intermediate level videos. I did two intermediate level videos actually. So this is going to be the advanced level video. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you quite a bit of extra stuff this video. I'll even throw in a fancy looking background for you. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to place and find the logo here. I'm on the wrong folder. And then uh, we'll find the picture that I had and we'll go ahead and place it on the artboard. So that's perfect. That's a good size right there. And now if you look, it actually gets cut off a little bit at the top. So uh, I'm going to resize it just a little bit and go ahead and go over to essentials for me and then in the properties tab i'll click embed and boom bam boom bam spank you ma'am there she is she is put in there now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and lock her by holding control and pressing two that way i just can't move her around if i want to or anything actually you know what let me just make her a little bit smaller before I do that and move her up just a little bit right about there should be good okay now I'll click control 2 and I'll go ahead and and I'll go ahead and go over to the layers menu and if you look at it it's locked there but what I want to do is I actually want to create an additional layer so that I am drawing on something different and not drawing on the same layer as her. If you look, the lines of her are actually not very even at all because I was drawing on an uneven surface. So when I do this, I'm not going to be doing this exactly the way that she is, but I'm actually going to do it a little bit different. So probably the general color of an artist's brush is like a light blue color. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, why don't I just make a light blue color here? And let's check it out. Yeah, that's a good color. Okay, so the reason for that is that, you know, you can determine the difference between the black lines and the light blue lines of the brush, and it can help you out with the inking process and yada, yada, yada. I don't have to tell you all that, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and create the colors for this logo over here in the corner. And uh, you know what, let's try to stick with five if possible so go ahead and boom fill these just for now and let's see we want her face to be a kind of greenish color because she's a witch she's not human so is that a little too I'm actually gonna change this green around just a little bit and give it just a little bit of a brighter color there Maybe a little more blue, a little more yellow, and boom, that's a good color. Kind of ogre at that point. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a dark gray color for the lines as well. And then um, we'll do, why don't we do a purplish color for her hat? Uh, so, oh, that's good. I like that color. And then let's go ahead and do a lighter purple on top of that darker one just for these lines here okay so green skin purple hat and her hair of course is going to be a light gray color so why don't we go ahead and get started with this palette right here so first of all I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here go over to this I'm gonna start with my brush stroke now I have to kind of make up for the difference here Oops, wrong one. I had the fill on. I have to kind of make up for the difference of the hat here, so I'm going to kind of wing it a little bit different from the original drawing, but that's okay. 
and we'll do those sort of lines there and why don't we put this right here nope I want to curl this out just a little bit right here boom find our anchor point push the edge of it right here pull this over here to the edge try and line it up like so there we go now if you can tell this design is already going to take a little bit longer than my typical designs because I'm doing more line work than shape work so I may actually just speed this part of the video up a little bit okay and there it is that's her hat so let's fill this in just to make sure that the shape is right and you know what let's go ahead and use the color that we have over here this purple color right there okay if you look at these lines there's a couple errors here that aren't quite flowing the hat together which is fine so we'll just go through and do some of that action there and why don't we straighten this out a little here too not too much we still want it to look a little uneven and curl whoa and curl this in right here we want it to look curly but not really sharp so there we go her hat is now starting to look a little bit more like a witch's hat so i'm gonna go ahead and swap this over here move this Oops, wrong one. I'm going to go ahead and swap this over here and move this back over to the line work. Now, if you look, it's a little bit different from the original artwork, and that's perfectly all right. But uh, since it is different, that means that we need to account for the difference when we do the things like the stripes and the belt. So what we are going to do is start by making the stripes here separate from the belt that way we can color them separately so we'll just put that there put that there and close that in there okay looks good and now we'll go ahead and make the rectangle for the belt We'll curl it over at a near 45 degree angle here. Move it right there, curl it a little more. And let's resize it here to be a similar size to how it is in the picture. Okay, and now let's go ahead and scale this down just like so. Alrighty. And now it looks like a jumbled up mess, but it's there. So we'll go ahead and move these lines over like so. Merge all of this together with a shape builder tool like so. Boom, there it is. Merge that together. And then there we go. All right, next let's do the stripes here. So start with that stripe there and move this in just a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think I can go out a little more and let's make this look like it gets much much bigger as it gets closer to the top just like that and if we have a problem with it we can always adjust it later but since that one is at the top we want to exaggerate that stripe just a little bit more and this one doesn't have to be quite as exaggerated but you know what let's 
make sure that it still is a little bit rounded. Okay, and this one is probably closer to a square than the other one, but we'll make it just a little rounded and the last one here, this one's the smallest one, so we'll probably make this one the most square out of all of them. And there we go. Okay. So now you know the drill. There's lines here. But before we get into the lines, let's do this. Let me get my eyedropper tool here and go ahead and color this in just like that. Okay, and this belt here, let's color this the darker gray color. Let's try the purple color. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty decent. And this part of the belt here, we will color the grayish color. Okay, and all of these stripes in here will give the purple color. Just like that. Boom, cut out the extra that we don't need here with the shape builder tool. And there you have it. She has a witch's hat. You know what? This in here needs to be that same purple color as the outside of the hat so we'll go ahead and make this little box here and that's all right that it doesn't quite fit in there we'll just move it to the back there so that it shoves itself in there and let's click some of this here it looks like we have some areas here that are cut off so let's go ahead and join these pathways here. Okay. And then we'll select this along with that and that. And let's try to combine these areas here. Probably some of the more, one of the more complicated ways to do this, but it gets the job done. It looks a lot cleaner now. Okay, perfect. So she's got, she's got herself a little hat going on. She is now a witch with a goal in life. She now knows exactly what her purpose is okay so let's do her face next okay now for this part of the video you guys probably don't want to see me doing all the line work and everything and talking to you guys at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part for you guys Okay, and there we go. That is the outline of her face. So next we'll do her eyeball and let's just get the shape here pretty similar to what her eye is with the ellipse tool. And we'll rotate this around for that little white spot in her eye and there we go. It's pretty close but uh, I just want to make it a little bit smaller just to fit the scale of her eye. Okay, so next we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and do her eyebrow. So the other thing that got cut off in this drawing on the paper I did was her hair. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to kind of guesstimate how far down her hair is going to go. 
and see I'd say it probably ought to go down to about here and then we'll go back up so part of the reason I used the blue stroke here is because it makes it easier for me to figure out what I'm doing because it doesn't really get in the way of the black lines so I can definitely tell what is what and the blue stroke is a lot cooler so it makes it a lot easier for me to kind of predict my next movement here okay whoops wrong one now I got this section of the hair done right here and I know it just it looks like a lot of lines right now but that is perfectly all right because that's kind of what we want from this so I don't want to put it on there but what we want to do is we want to go ahead and cross this right here and it's okay if there's that little bit of divot right here that actually adds a little bit more character to the hair so we're gonna go ahead and put this right here and now we got to ad lib what the bottom of the hair is gonna look like and I think this is about where it's gonna end and I think you know what I think that this should go up here and curl on around like that there we go One thing about Illustrator is that you're not really using it to draw per se, you're really just using it to color in, to add the character that the canvas needs. Now this right here probably looks a little sharper so we're going to even that out. Okay, and I think that's all of the outlining. So let's go ahead and mess with all these lines that I have here. So let's start with the hair here. And uh, we'll just go ahead and I drop in that gray color that I have for the hair. And make sure that all the lines look fairly decent. Okay, and then for this part of the hair here, I think I actually want to go ahead and make this a lighter gray color. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the face here. So let's go ahead and send the face as far back as we possibly can. And, uh, and grab our eyedropper tool here and choose the green color that we selected for her face. Perfect, perfect. She's looking like a witch. And then why don't we choose this eyebrow here and put on the black color for the eyebrow put on the black color for the eyeball and the eye here is going to be a white color and we'll just send this back behind her face like so and I would say she's starting to look pretty good Okay, the only thing is this eyebrow here should be on this path right here. And this should also intersect with the path right there. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to like how this is looking, so we're going to go ahead and start doing the line work on it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and create some streaks and wrinkle.
wrinkles across her face. So we got that done. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and smooth out some of these lines in here that did not end up smooth. And I think there's only a couple of them in here. All right, yeah, I think that's it. So next, we're gonna take this picture and we're gonna decrease the opacity of it. I just wanna make sure that I get all of the wrinkles that I drew. I wanna make sure that all of them get transferred over. And I also want to make sure that this right here actually gets separated out by just doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the wrinkles here. See, now what we've done is we've actually gave ourselves a variety of different lines with different stroke sizes so that it doesn't look like all being a jumbled up mess. Okay, so now we got the witch face here, and like I said, I wanted to get you guys some background going on too. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go in and delete this layer here because we don't need it anymore. And what I'm actually going to do is save my file because Adobe just crashed on me and I want to make sure that if it crashes again at least I have some sort of starting point. So I know I've had you guys on here for a long time, but I want to go ahead and just add just a little bit more to this picture to make it look more complete. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this here and move this all to the back behind that logo there, just like so. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the line work add a darker color to it we're gonna give her a little spooky shadow and it looks a little bit more 3d now which is great because 3d looks all the more spookier now we could call it done here but I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a background here. And while I do this, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on speed because I know you guys have been here for a long time and stuck it out with me. And I appreciate that. So here we go. Let's do the background.
Okay, and there you have it. A spooky witch Halloween logo with kind of a basic little Halloween background going on. I know this video ended up being a little bit longer than anything else that I've done and I apologize for that. Without speeding anything up or anything right now, I'm right at 58 minutes. So it's been pretty long and I do apologize for that, but I think that I got you guys a pretty good looking logo here um, that spawned out of it. So this is the advanced logo design video that you guys have been waiting for and I hope that it was everything that you guys were hoping that it would be and I hope that you guys took something away from this video because it did take me a little while to record it and put it all together for you so uh, with all that being said I will hopefully see you guys shortly and hopefully we'll have something less complicated to bring everybody so that it doesn't take a whole forever to record <laughs> so just gonna go ahead and finish up some last touches here and uh, if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like for me down below leave me a nice comment and let me know what you guys thought about it that would do me a lot of good because these videos do take some time to put together and I would really honestly appreciate hearing from you guys if you enjoyed it and if you didn't enjoy it also let me know I would appreciate to hear that from you as well and I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Bye.